Okay, welcome to part three of the Training Diaries here in sunny Shropshire. Okay, so we're not quite in Pozo. This is going to be the Pozo Diaries, don't worry, but uh, I'm just back home for a quick uh, get together with the family. 70th birthdays all round for the parents and uh, 45th wedding anniversary. So anyway, I had to pop home, uh, but we're going to go straight back to Pozo now and uh, tell you about what has been going on. And actually, uh, we have to start this uh, part three episode of the Train Diaries with some some sad news. Uh, the Rocket Man, um, well, is dead. The Rocket Man is dead. I didn't know him that well. Uh, he was a nice guy, but uh, I was filming the other day, and he did a forward. <laughs> you what? <laughs> Are you kidding me, Rocket Man? So I'm thinking this can't be the Rocket Man. I look in, it's the Rocket Man. I'm filming him. Another forward another forward what are you doing i'm there with ricardo and we're like this is the rocket man what's he doing and another forward so the rocket man is dead but uh long live the rocket man because when a rocket man dies another one steps up the new rocket man bring him on yes this is the new rocket man we did have a few guys trying to take that crown uh gustav was one of them he gave it a good go but uh the new rocket man is in town we even had a couple of the pros trying to step up to the level of the rocket man but it wasn't enough to take it from uh, the new rocket man so we'll have to keep our eyes out for him who knows when a new rocket man is going to be in town uh, and we're going to go straight back to one of the pros that did try and steal that crown uh, and he is new in pozo and it's always good to see him on the water because he is always going full power and i have to say although he didn't take the rocket man crown he has took the best dressed or the most color coordinated because he as always has the sail the board and wet suit i mean it is tailor-made to go together so uh, ricardo campello is the new best dress for this week uh, and he's looking mighty dasky on the water but his skills well i don't know where he's been on the winter but he looked a little bit rusty he had a few issues he was getting a bit angry uh he had some good ones i mean he had some crashed push loop and some backies it wasn't going quite well a pump of the sail and the double didn't go you know he couldn't quite get that extra rotation or the wind dropped uh uh, and then he had that wave rider and he got thrown in the face uh, but as we know this man you can't keep a good man down and he came storming back and he soon he sort of got an angry double and he really whipped it around it wasn't the great conditions but he still made it happen another double uh, and then he started landing a few things got that trademark like uh, tabletop off the lip uh, and then pumped out uh, a nice 360 on the inside it wasn't great conditions but you know stall forwards you know what he's like so uh, Ricardo Campello is back in town and it's good to see him I can tell you it's always good to see Ricardo Campello but there is a few new arrivals as well I mean it's not just Ricardo in town uh Jager Jager Stone has turned up so uh again looking a bit rusty when he got here he didn't mind admitting that himself said it took a bit of a time to get into it had to play around with the fins and stuff but he looked like uh he was on fine form and actually I left on the on the Friday and I saw some pictures from that day and Jager looks like he's got them arch back his nails so uh, Jager Stone looking good uh, who else have we got uh, Mr Friss uh, Christopher Friss he's not doing the World Cup but he's turned up got his new simmers and his new custom board he's got he's been uh, doing a bit of tweaking on stuff and uh, yeah, he looked in fine form I'm being told he's got some good crashes he's going to send them me because uh, he's been filming himself got his own cameraman uh, no less we've got Chomo again not doing the World Cup but he's over here just for a bit of entertainment in Pozo hasn't had the great conditions but he's uh, he's been out there uh, and who else have we got yeah well Morgan okay we'll go back to Morgan because he was one of the new arrivals we haven't seen much from him uh, he came around our house the other day he's got some stitches in his foot apparently just kicked the fin uh, three or four stitches in his foot said they did a great job uh, well they were a bit wonky he said and he was like uh, tiptoeing out the other day and he was really tiptoeing around uh, just out through the rocks and I thought oh god uh, but he made it out it had a quick forward and then the wind totally dropped I mean the wind just dropped out uh, and people were swimming in so we haven't had the best uh, conditions during the last few weeks uh, but we have had something it's not been great uh, another new arrival maybe a new face uh, for a few of you out there John McLawrence is here yet yeah, John McLawrence is here who 
John Lawrence, you know Johnny? Gonna be doing the No, he's not. <laughs> He's one of the local crew from back home in Ross Niger. The brothers Paul and John, they're always in Pozo, so I said I'd give him a shout out. Uh, and he was keen to impress. I got the camera out, I'm filming him at Pozo Winds. He's got all the gear, got the new simmer on, uh, and he's been doing a few one handed back loops recently, so I think he was keen to impress. He went straight off the beach, and I think he gets the prize for the quickest back loop attempt ever. About five meters off the beach, launches straight into a back. He didn't make it, it was unfortunate. Uh, and it wasn't the best day, I'll give him that but he had a few good forward attempts I say attempts he landed a few nice ones actually uh, but just couldn't quite get the back loop I know as soon as I left on Friday he texted me said I got a one-handed backy where were you so uh, unfortunately Johnny uh, you're not going to make the diaries with one-handed back loop but you did get in there with the forward so we should mention he is a bit of a kit wrecker he's always been known for that down the bunker so we should have the first bunker camp but I didn't quite get him swimming around on it but I did get the carnage afterwards just check out the fins <laughs> a couple of fins missing went back to Pozo wins uh Pozo wins did someone say Pozo wins yeah Pozo wins still supporting the diaries and they're supporting John McLaurin's with some new fins as well so he went straight in saw Jonas hardest working man in Pozo I'll tell you changed the fins although look at his face he looks happy about it so he changed the fins sent him back out he came back in about 10 minutes later with a nose gone as well so the kit wrecker uh, hopefully he's left Pozo by now or there'll be no kit left uh, so yeah Pozo wins still supporting the diaries uh, if you want to get over to Pozo and you damage your kit don't worry they'll sort you out I don't know do they have some insurance in place I hope so for people like that but they do the kit high they can sort the accommodation transfer from the airport car you know they do they do pretty much anything if you want to get sorted in Pozo they are the shop to go to so get in touch with Pozo wins all right what is next on the list well I'll tell you what we've got from one nutter to another nutter where did this guy come from I was tempted to give him shredder of the week but I think we need a new title and I think we're gonna have it in I've got big balls, oh I've got big balls, and they're such big balls, they're big, big balls. balls. Yes, he's got big balls, this guy. I don't know who he is. I wish I had a name. I looked at his sail. I think it could be from the Netherlands. I don't know. Please, someone give me a name because this guy was on form. And if anyone was ever going to make the diaries, it was this fella. So, Ezzy, just going crazy. Ezzy, dude, that's what we're going to have to call him. Uh, the nutter of the week. He was just going for it. He's got balls, big balls. Doubles after doubles. Crashes, push loop crashes in the face like boom one-handed shackers boom the kid's going off and then more doubles and you're like what i mean check out the slow-mo of this double the second rotation is just hell fast so he was going for it i mean he's got skills don't get me wrong making nice shackers making some nice stall forwards and push loops and stuff uh but this guy gets the big balls prize of the week the big balls trophy so uh yeah uh give me a name because he deserves uh, a mention he's been uh, definitely going for it this week uh, and another guy been going for this week uh, and we're gonna have to give him the shredder of the week yes the shredder of the week now i wasn't gonna give it him this week because he can do better than than I, i've been filming him and i've never caught him on a good day but even on the bad days he is quite a little bit above everyone he seems to be on fire this year brazinho he really wants this world title you watch that video he's just dropped online from starb attack and you think he's good on starb attack well on port he is tearing it up he's got all the moves and he's been pushing a new move the shifty off the wave now i don't i hope he's trying to land back in but he had some gnarly attempts the other day just are some proper spankings you know you don't usually see an ex-world champion taking it hard beating like this they usually rest up a bit well he is still pushing super hard and i expect to see this move i think we're going to see it landed we saw one land uh it wasn't the best one but i know he, he's got the feeling for it and he ain't going to give up that easy that's for sure so watch this space brazinho with a shifty on the wave could it happen in the world cup you never know uh but he's got all the other moves he's got the reverses he's got the you know easy tackers he's got the backside shackers anyway uh he's got doubles just left right and center he never does one session without doing it even when it's a bit dodgy for doubles you know you watch a few of these and there's a couple which are not you know perfect as he would like but they're in really 
not ideal conditions and he really pushes through them. So uh, Marsilio Brown, Brasinho, uh, again, he is definitely a contender for world title this year. I wouldn't put, you know, two, I, I don't think you'd get good odds on him anyway. I think they're pretty low odds of him becoming another, uh, another title for him. Um, so Marsilio Brown is the shredder of the week. Uh, I have been looking around and I've been noticing a few worrying things. Footwear. Now, I'm not the fashion police, but check out the footwear on a lot of these pros. I mean, I'm not doing an advert for Crocs now. They're not coming in with the big money, but, uh, and there's some rip-off Crocs out there. They're not all proper Crocs, but that is the footwear of choice. Now, I'm not one to feel left out, so uh, we made it down the supermarket and we uh, put our hands in our pockets at four euros and we got some rip-off Crocs. Pink, because why pink? You're probably saying, why pink? Why has he got pink? Well, when you put them on the beach, because you want them really close to the water, unlike Gustav in this episode where you put them about 50 metres away from you come in and it defeats the objective of them. Anyway, you have pink ones and then you can see them on the beach. So you come straight into your Crocs, stick them on, clamber up the rocks, no problems with any cut feet, Morgan, maybe you should take no. Uh, and that's the way forward. So that is why if you see any videos and these guys are all wearing Crocs, I mean, some of us actually got proper Crocs. Brazilio got the proper Crocs, hey, hey, Got the money, the world, ex-world champion, he knows. Uh, so anyway, that is the footwear of choice this week. I know, scary stuff. Well, that's gonna wrap it up here in sunny Shropshire. Uh, I have a few people on, uh, well, on destination, filming a bit of the pose of action because as soon as I left, obviously it got better. Uh, I've shown you a few pictures earlier, but it looks pretty good at the moment. I'm back on Monday uh, and we will uh, do the next one from On The Roof. So episode four will be from On The Roof back in Pozo and I have a feeling a few more people have turned up. So stay tuned for number four and we'll be back on the usual place. See you then.